Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're taking a look at Google's solution to old, outdated, unsupported hardware. In this video, we're taking a look at Chrome OS Flex, which is Google's own Chrome OS that can be installed on pretty much any hardware and will run exactly like a Chromebook. If you recall, I did a video similar to this back in 2020 with Cloud Ready. However, since then, Google has bought Cloud Ready and they've created this even better version that uses the official version of Chrome and has some extra cool features, which we'll take a look at. This video will basically go through the entire installation from creating a USB to actually installing it on a physical machine. And then we're gonna take a look at it and see how it really differs from Chrome OS and Cloud Ready. So to actually make the USB, what we have to do is download and use the Chromebook recovery to utility, which can be downloaded from the Chrome web store. Then click get started. Select a model from a list, manufacturer, I believe it's Google Chrome OS Flex, and then Chrome OS Flex developer unstable, because Chrome OS Flex is still a developer beta, so again, use with caution, there are some bugs. Now we select the USB that I want to use, so I'm going to use the 8GB USB 2.0, and then click create now, and your USB will be wiped, Chrome OS Flex will be downloaded, and in probably 10 minutes, you'll have a USB. Once your Chrome OS Flex USB is finished installing, you can go ahead and insert it in your computer, turn your computer on, and go into the boot menu. The Chrome OS Flex USB will work in legacy and BIOS mode, so you really don't have to change any BIOS settings to get it to work. Just go ahead and select your USB, and then let it boot from the USB. Your first USB boot will be a little bit slow because it's just booting off a USB and it's a first boot, so give it a little bit of time to boot. However, just so you guys know, this is running on a Core i3-3120M with 8GB of RAM. So it's not the worst computer, but it's not the best. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can speed this machine up. Once you're in this screen, it says, Welcome to Cloud Ready 2.0. I know that this is supposed to be Chrome OS Flex. I'm not entirely sure what their official name is, but because it is referenced as Cloud Ready 2 and Chrome OS Flex. Once again, we can go ahead and just go through and install Cloud Ready 2.0. And now we'll give this 10 to 15 minutes to install, and then we'll be able to set it up like a brand new Chromebook. Here we are inside of the CloudReady 2.0 setup. For some reason, I'm not sure if the Wi-Fi on this laptop is bad or if it's just not supported by CloudReady, but I am using Ethernet because Wi-Fi is not detected. I'm not entirely sure why, but I have tried it on another laptop and Wi-Fi does work. So again, we can agree to the Chrome OS terms and conditions, and here is where things get interesting. For most home users, you're of course going to want to set this up as you, personal use. But unlike the free version of Cloud Ready, the free version of Chrome OS Flex can be enrolled in Enterprise. So this means you can manage it through the Google Admin Console like it's a typical Chromebook. And honestly, that is very cool because that is something that a lot of people use in a way that a lot of IT departments can manage older devices and repurpose them into something new. However, because we're not managing this device, we're going to set it up as a personal device and I'm going to enter my email and password. And here we are in the Chrome OS Flex desktop. So just like you would expect, this acts exactly like a regular Chromebook. I mean, we can, like I said, manage it, which is the biggest thing, but we also have the launcher here and Google Assistant as well, which is enabled because this is not a managed Chromebook. Um, the only thing that this lacks from a regular Chromebook is Android app support. There is no Google Play Store on this. Um, maybe that's coming in the future, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure what that would involve for Google. But uh, yeah, all of my weird programs are syncing from the last time that I actually used a Chromebook on my Google account. But um, yeah, I mean, we can take a look just in settings here. This is just showing up as Google Chrome OS in developer. It's not even showing as Flex. And if we go to firmware updates, I mean, I'm just trying to see, yeah, there is no real end date for support on this. If you would go check and you would see in a regular Chromebook, it would say updates until June 2026. This does not have an update expiration. So th technically, I think you would be able to install this on a Chromebook and extend its life. I'm not entirely sure if that's true or not, but you should, in theory, be able to do that. Yep, there's the Chrome OS recovery tool. I mean, everything is here and it works. This is the latest version of Google Chrome, as I just said, version 100, which is, of course, in the dev channel. I mean, everything works perfectly fine. Uh, 1080p YouTube playback, all kinds of stuff like that. 
this is amazing because you can truly save an older laptop because honestly with everything being on the internet today there's really no need for a windows machine most people only use web apps in google or edge and this solves that problem they can repurpose a 10 15 year old computer that they have for that they have for free and it'll work pretty much like a brand new chromebook in fact it would probably be better than some new chromebooks but uh yeah this was chrome os flex if you like the video make sure to like it and subscribe if you're new around here as i do all kinds of different technology videos including device restorations i am so shocked at just how well this runs i mean I'm so thankful that Google has decided to bring this to older laptops in a way that is better than Cloud Ready because Cloud Ready uses Chromium, this is real Chrome, and you can enterprise manage without a license. I'll see you all in the next one.